hey guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video i want to show you my first attempt at installing the single strand dreadlock crochet i am loving the outcome as you can see but i'm going to show you how i started so i started by patting my hair into chunks uh, little chunks and then I try to break them into three and two strands twist and this is this will serve as the foundation for installing my crochet dreadlocks so the base I started by twisting it into three strands and then two strands at the tip this is just to enable its flexibility I notice if I braid all through with three strands it makes it more uh i take more time and then it's not as flexible as when it is two strands so as you can see the base is three strands and the tips are two strands and i wanted the center part so i tried to braid it in such a way that um the center part could be visible and showing and here I'm done braiding my own natural hair, ready for installation. So here I pick one strand of the Mali hair. This is a Mali kinky hair. So this is one strand and then I decide to separate them. I started from the tip. Some people start from the middle, but it sometimes uh, makes it tangles a lot. So I start from the trip and then I make and it comes out like this and then I pick up my crochet pin and fix it trying to attach it to my hair my own hair so I pick one strand and then I try to install it don't worry this is fast you may not see how I do it but if you stick around you're going to see more of how I slowly install the dreadlocks crocheted it into my own hair so i pick up this mali hair and i attach it this way and then i wrap it all around so this is like we call it the thread hairstyle in nigeria so i wrap it all around it firmly so when i was twisting my natural hair I didn't uh, it it wasn't so tight because I know that when I'm going to wrap this around it I can choose to make it as tight as I would want to do so yeah I wrap it around I kind of uh, bent the tip of my natural hair because it's long and it may require that I wrap it all the way through which would uh, I don't know I wouldn't like the outcome so i kind of bend the tips of my own natural hair and wrap it all in and um, yeah so when i'm wrapping i do not um, go with specific uh, style of wrapping so i do clockwise anti-clockwise depending on which side of my hair i am doing and um, yeah and sometimes uh, depending on how tired my hands are I can decide to change in the way I wrap so there's no specific way of or angle of wrapping the hair yeah so what I did was uh, I'm wrapping it all up with the other tips I'm going to show you more this was too fast I'm going to show you you're going to see how I do it so and then I cut the end none of this is going to be a waste i'm going to reuse it again so yeah i just cut it and this is how it looks this is how it looks yep so here it's another attempt in installing the crochet this time around i fix it first on the crochet pin and then try to fix it to the root of my strands and then I pull it through 
and and like this and then i it's so easy it's not it is nothing difficult about it and that is how i installed the crochet and then i hold it together with the strand of my hair and I to wrap it all around I've been inspired to do this style from some YouTube videos I've watched and they really inspire me I'll try to see if I can remember their names and I'm going to mention them at the end of this video or in the uh, details of this video they inspired me because this is my first attempt and I think I like the outcome. It's not so perfect, but I like what I'm looking at. I like what I see. I like how it feels. Yeah. So yeah, and then I paint some my natural hair and then I wrap it all around, all around. The longer your hair is, your natural hair is, the faster you have to bend it. So. You don't have to wrap all through and you know covering the beauty of your dreadlocks but there's also a style where you wrap all through yeah if you've got the strength and if that's what the look you want so when i wrap to the points where my hair stops and then i pick the other strand and wrap it all up so the one i wrap downwards is different from the one i used to wrap upwards so this is how i hold the wraps firmly and then you wrap 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 and keep wrapping until there are no more strands to wrap around that is how yeah and i'm done and i'm going to cut this and reuse it no part of that's the beauty of the style no parts it's a waste good this is how it looks and then i put it that way and so it goes for every other strand and this whole hairstyle took me i think uh, four hours i started in on the evening on a friday after work to do the foundation and then the next day i did the installation of the crochet so you can see i changed my clothes but it took me approximately four hours to to complete it's not so full i like it uh and it's not so scanty so it's just a perfect perfect uh volume of hair on me and it's light it's not heavy i love it so this is the final one and um it's pretty easy it's way way easier than i thought and this is the final look i was done it looks hard it stands out now but with time it's just going to uh blend in and uh, becomes a little bit become a little bit flexible so this is me i love the outcome it's so pretty I love it and um, I can style it anyhow I want I can do whatever it is I like with it that is why I love this you know these are single strands is I prefer it to when you weave your hair and install it uh, all through this is a perfect perfect style for my week thank you guys don't forget if this is your first time of watching my video to subscribe for more beautiful videos like this thank you guys bye